Hello and welcome to this Know Your Planet demonstration. Today we're going to talk about alternative energy and we're going to talk about the heat pump. And the first question is, what is a heat pump? We're going to look at the different types of heat pumps available. We're going to look at the insulation required, the costs and savings associated with it. We're also going to look at the insulation which is required to your house to make this insulation effective. And we're going to look at the indoor environment. But first of all, what is a heat pump? Well, it is one of the most effective and environmentally friendly solutions which are available right now for heating your house. <clears throat> and you have to think of it as reverse refrigerator. It takes the cold from inside your house and it moves it outside your house, but it also is able to take heat from outside your house, even if it's colder outside your house there is still heat available and you can move this into your home and use this to heat your house. You can also for example if it's warm take the heat from inside your house and move it outside your house and that's exactly what an air conditioning unit does. So it works both as an air conditioning unit and as a heat pump so it's a two-in-one system. There are different types of heat pumps and the most common heat pumps available are the ground source heat pumps which uses the ground heat to bring this heat into your home. Now there are also the air source heat pumps which uses the heat in the air and brings this into your home. Now the difference is that the ground source heat pumps have got pipes dug into the ground which are a few meters underneath the ground where the temperature is very stable whereas the air source will use the air which is around us every day. So the air source heat pumps will be very good in an environment for example like the UK where the temperature doesn't fall below zero very often but for example in colder countries we probably would be better off using a ground source heat pump. Now are they easy to install? Well they don't require a massive amount of modification to the house but they do require some especially the ground source heat pumps which are going to need to have these pipes installed underneath the ground and the air source heat pump needs to have these units installed so the one that you can see right here is the indoor unit and it looks very much like an air conditioning unit and instead of blowing out cold air this would blow out hot air now it is also important to remember that this is going to add to your property value in the long run because these things are going to be very long living they're going to last for maybe 20 or 30 years so it's very important just to remember that as a future investment into your home now is it expensive? Well the system can be obtained from around £5,000 and there are many grants available for this. Of course it depends on the system that you are interested in purchasing. If you're looking to buy a ground heat pump system it's probably more in the regions of seven, eight, ten thousand pounds So you have to check out your options and see what's the best for your home. Now the question is how much money can this save me? Well if you look at this chart here you can see for example if you're normally using electricity to heat up your house well you could probably save over a thousand pounds every single year and also seven tons of carbon dioxide which is incredibly important but it depends on what kind of system that you already have and there are some things that you need to consider if you're going to install a heat pump because first of all you need to look at how well your home is insulated now the heat pumps are slow heating they're not going to deliver these powerful bursts of heat that you normally would associate with, for example, an oil radiator. So it's important to make sure that your windows and your floors aren't leaking heat. But also, the heat pumps will improve the indoor environment because when you normally have your heat system, which might go on two, three, four times a day, and give your house a quick rise in, in temperature of a few degrees, and then it drops again and goes up, this can cause all sorts of problems with condensation seeking in, seeping into all sorts of cracks into the house and it definitely will make your building a lot more healthy. And also for my own and your own personal well-being, a heat pump is a great way to have just a more healthy living environment to be in. You can set the heat pump for, for example 22 degrees and it will just stay there. Um, pretty much throughout the day and throughout the night and that's a great way to have a set temperature a nice healthy living environment to stay in well <clears throat> I'd like you thank you for viewing this video and of course as usual if you have any questions or would like to check out more of information go on to our website drop us an email or even give us a phone call thank you very much